Hello, welcome back. Gimme Noodle here. Welcome to my Dark Tiders 100% run slash walkthrough slash let's play. Uh, where we left off, basically war over here. One of the horsemen of the apocalypse got framed somehow uh, for starting the end war, the apocalypse, prematurely. Um, one of the head angels died because of it, who was Abaddon. Who is now Dededon. And uh, now we're making our way to Volgrim. So, see if he can give us any help, any information. Here comes the welcome party. And we have zombies in this game now, too. Look at that sword. War. Beautiful. Why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, I'll introduce myself, right. It's very fun uh, killing these sorts of enemies. They're just fodder, really. They're the weakest uh, monsters in the game. Just smash them. Smash them good. Again, you can run past this bit and just ignore them, but I don't recommend it. I actually recommend killing everything. In fact, uh, if I were you, I would kill more than I actually do in this run. To be honest, like even those cars and stuff, you can get souls, blue souls from those. And with the blue souls, you can go ahead and buy stuff like skills and items, all sorts of things. It's always good to collect blue souls. And that was very anticlimactic. You think you'd get in a big fight with this huge dude and he just kills himself? Okay. But it's pretty easy, you just uh, jump on that pipe like I did and run across the wall quick. The good thing um, is that it's not slow. In, there's a few games, look, like climbing up here, look how fast you can just jump. It's the same as when you're um, going across a wall or climbing on a pipe. Uh, it's very fast, which is amazing. This guy. We saw him before, so we know that he can explode, so uh, just be careful, try to watch out and look for any tells. When you see he's about to attack, uh, you, you can tell from the animation, so just uh, dodge. <laughs> I didn't do it very well there, but uh, most of the time you should be able to dodge a lot better than I do. And, uh, he died pretty quick, actually. One thing about these chests over here, um, I would suggest that you open every single one that you come across because there is an achievement. Now I won't be doing achievements really and I'm not, I don't really care about achievements on this one but if you want to get achievements you might as well go for it and one of the achievements I think it's called Treasure Hunter or something I forgot but um, it, you get it by opening a lot of the chests all the different chests in the game, so it's best to open every single one that you come across. So you just pull this massive block up against the wall and then you can reach the higher platform and then onto this pipe. See how quick it is? It's very nice. We're going to be coming up now to... Um, I it's not... A, it's probably the first boss that might be a challenge for you if you're not careful. If you just blindly mash the attack key and you don't like bother trying to dodge or anything, you'll probably die if you're playing this on Apocalypse Apocalyptic 2. If you're if you're not playing on Apocalypse it's not really such a big deal, but just in case you are, you might want to be very careful. See the the room you can't progress until he actually shows up. So to make him show up, just start killing all these zombies. After you dispatch a few of them, he should show himself. Any second. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. There we go. There he is. Bam! Fiery handed demon dude. Right. This guy can hurt if you let him hit you, so be careful. Luckily, see, his tells are very obvious. 
and he like kind of winds up before he takes a massive swing. So just be careful. Dodge. Dodge is your friend. Dodge and dispatch. And I fail. But it's fine. We got him. Whack, whack. I love these finishing moves. <laughs> awesome. So good. Right, now that we've killed him, the way is free to go, so you just make your way over there. We should be nearing the end of this building. Methinks. Yes. I can't be bothered with these zombies, to be honest. Yes, go ahead and get this chest. Because I don't think you'll you'll be here again, so you might as well, even if you don't need it. All right, here we are, the crossroads. This is where we're gonna find Volgrim. How long was I gone? In Earth years, about a century. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. The third kingdom is lost. Seriously. If so, you're surely not empty handed. For well, this shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. Right. Now we gotta go collect 500 souls. I've already got about 200, so it's not gonna be hard, but... I will um, show you all the places where you can get maximum soulage, so it's easier for you to get it quick instead of grinding on these mobs. Might as well kill this big guy because he is a nuisance, and he's the only massive one of these things in this area, so you might as well just kill him. And I fail at dodging it again. Come on, what am I doing? Bloody hell. <laughs> I still get hit. <laughs> See, this is how you don't do it. As you can see, I'm pretty terrible at this game. But I love it, so it's fine. I enjoy what I do, I enjoy playing it. Now you see, I just hit um, a fire hydrant thing. You've got to be careful and look out for those. The more you hit, if you hit all of them in this zone, a secret chest appears. It's a nice little secret. You gotta keep a good eye open for it though, because sometimes it's hard to spot them, because they kind of blend in. 
uh, the colors don't really help. But anyway, you'd want to come down into this little area and you can run across to this uh, soul chest over here. It should help with your count. Make sure when you jump in you start swimming down, like I'm about to do. If you can see here, if I can just grab it, go, go, yeah, there we go. Artifact of the Soldier. One of many that we're going to get. But once you've got that, we can uh, leave this bit. You might have seen before that to the left, there was like this kind of blue crystal stuff. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now. That's one of the secret areas that we can come back to later once we have an item that lets us break it. But we don't right now, so we just ignore it. Now, um, I'm basically on a lookout for the fire hydrants. I couldn't remember each location by heart, so I'm kind of just looking around. But there is another chest over here that you'll want to get, so if you just jump down and grab it, that would be great. I mean, I've already got 450, it's pretty easy, but there's a ton more to get. So if you've still not got as many as I have right now, it's fine, you will by the end of it. Again, where are they? There's another one. And I know there's some over here somewhere. There's another. Yeah, these guys are kind of accumulating, so I might as well just uh, kill a few. And there's... oh! Those guys are pretty easy to kill, so it's fine, but there is a hydrant to the left, here we are. that's been sliced and diced, there should be the final hydrant here, I think. This one, and then that one, and that should be it. Yep. I actually can't remember what's in that chest. I don't know if it's just like a life thing or what. Mm. But uh, when you make your way down this little road, there are a lot of monsters. That, oh, and there is one more of those big things, those big demons, but that's fine. They give some nice, give a nice collection of souls, so uh, might as well kill it. Try not to feel, fail at dodging as much as I have. Oh, is it me or did that guy kind of die quicker than the first? That's fine. Bam! I'm gonna go down here because there is a chest. Well, there is a green one that you can get at the back over there, but I'm not gonna bother. But you can if you want to. But uh, we came here for this chest, for the souls. So yeah, go ahead and go back there if you want that green chest. There is one chest to the left as well. You can jump down and get it. Um, but uh, I'm not going to get that. I'm just going to go straight to Volgrim now. Because we have everything we need. Ah, so it was a soul, a soul chest when we... Uh, kill those fire hydrants for that secret chest. These ancient gates have a mind of their own, but with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while.
Now, if you want, you can go back and talk to Volgram, and he just explains to you that uh, all those uh, artifacts that you collect are something that he would love to buy. <coughs> and I sneezed, sorry. But uh, that's good. What you want to do is you want to sell all of those artifacts to him for a nice chunk. And I just got Weapon Master first. And I feel another sneeze coming along. Is it gonna... And... No, it goes away. But uh, he gave you that horn, which makes um, this kind of... Well, the sound of a horn, like Inception. So uh, it's kind of like Hornception, just uh, equip it. Equip both things, the, the weapon upgrade thingy. That's good as well, it will help. The Guardian awakes. The horn call of my ancestors awakened at last from the dreamless sleep. Then we are free. None are free while the destroyer still breathes. The destroyer. Service we are bound, though enemies we remain. So his enemies we call friend. He talks like he has no teeth. The destroyer, yes. Pass now, friend. Must bring victory. Pass. Must bring. Pass now, friend. Well, that was very nice of him. If that was the gate, I can't wait to find out what's behind it. Now that the gatekeeper's moved, we can now uh, go on through. This building's not too big, we can pass through it pretty quick before we end up to where Semiel's prison is. But you want to jump down here into the water and swim through. We are going to be getting... I think it's Artifact. Oh no, it's a uh, life shard, yep. There we go. Once you've got that, feel free to make your way back. In this area, there are other things, are other secrets, but we can't actually get to them yet with what we have, so we're just gonna move on. Go ahead and take out this big fiery guy if you like. Highly recommended. See, he's pretty quick to die, so it's worth it. One thing you might want to do better than me is use your actual skills that use Wrath. Uh, I don't use them that much. I like to just kind of, you know, hack and slash away. And to be honest with you, sometimes I do forget to use them, but you should use them if you can, because they're very powerful. And plus you get um, Wrath Souls back when you kill enemies to help replenish your meter. Um, what you're going to want to do here is you want to clear the area. And I'll show you why in a sec. So kill these uh, ugly things. You're going to attract some attention over here. So kill those just to be safe in case they interrupt you, which they most certainly will. Go one more. All right. Once you do that, pick up a car from anywhere, like I just did here. We're gonna make our way back. As you can see, this uh, red thing on this pillar. You wanna aim it. It's a bomb on there, so just throw it at the bomb, and it will explode like that. Once you climb up, we are going to be getting our first abyssal shard. Abyssal armor shard. Now if we get like, if we get all of those, War gets a new outfit that's like all black and really bulky, it's really cool. And it has some good stats. Alright, 
Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things even you should fear, horsemen. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. You know, is it me or does War's accent sound familiar to you? He seems to be like in a lot of uh, voice acting. He does a lot of voice acting in games and stuff. Like he sounds like I think it's Ingwe in Odin Sphere, and he sounds like Illidan in World of Warcraft. I don't know. And there we go, my sword leveled up. That is good news. You're gonna want to dispatch all these uh, additional mobs first when he when he spawns, because if you don't, I think when you try to hit the main guy, he just keeps blocking you. So uh, kill him when you can, but when these additional mobs come up, kill them, and then go back to him, like I'm doing here. This is the second round of mobs, and I think the last, but I am. Not sure, so don't quote me on that. We'll just kill them real quick. Bam! Wham! Kaboom! Ooh! You went mental there. You started swinging like a maniac. There we go. See, just look for the tails, dodge, and you should take no damage. Bam, cut his arm off as you do. Jesus. Sliced him up real good. Right, I think the camera is trying to tell me something. There are statues with blood, but look, this statue has no blood. I wonder what I should do. Now that's just blatant. You can't get any more helpful than that, going to the actual area and saying over here. But yeah, you just pull the statue towards, and that should happen. Well, sounds uh, sounds safe enough. So uh, let's go ahead and do it with the next one and free whatever just gurgled from inside that grate. This is a real good idea. War. Are you here to play execution? They should have set all four of you. I have no interest in killing you, Samael. Ah, the destroyer is beyond your reach. Beyond mine. This prison made you a coward. <laughs> Samael is so sick. Uh, perhaps there is a way, but you will need to get inside the destroyer's spire. The tower is guarded by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. My reasons for helping you are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistered inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. And bring me her still beating. What a psycho, but so cool. So there we go, we're on fetch quests now for this demon archangel thing. I don't know what it is. Samael in, I think in biblical text is an archangel, but he looks like a demon here. He's a very, very naughty person. Yeah, you want to go ahead and jump ahead in this little section like I did, um, so we can get a Rathcore. Boom. Make sure you uh, talk to Volgrim. 
see if you have enough to get anything. You want to get Harpoon Tackle as soon as you can really because that's one of the best moves I think in Wars Arsenal. But jump off over here. Don't double jump immediately. Jump and as you're halfway down then jump again so you can land on this little platform here. We're going to be getting another Abyssal Armor piece. Lovely. To get out you just jump over to this like round orb thing and it will lift you up like that and that's it you're you're free we're gonna have to make our way back around though I was actually not gonna kill that guy but the fact that he tagged me he's not getting away with that he's, he's dead and his friend too guilty by association sorry just run through here I'm gonna be jumping across straight ahead of us Flight orbs appear out of nowhere. Excellent. Those wings look very pretty as well, don't they? I like the the, the, the design of them. Jeez, can I stutter anymore? Dispatch of this fool. Dispatch of this fat fiery fool. Get all the souls. We are going to be making our way to the choking grounds, which is kind of like a graveyard. It's pretty nice. Make sure to uh, jump this way, to the right. Some nice souls waiting for you. You can never get enough souls in this game, I'm telling you now. Because by the time that you get to the end of the game, you still might not have have had enough souls to have spent on everything, like all skills and all items that you can buy from Vulgrim. So you honestly you really can't get enough of those souls, so just try and get as many as you can as you play through the first time. Um, it, sh it should be quite easy. If you do get stuck, like if you are getting near the end of the game and you desperately need a lot of souls. There is a, a bit in the game where I choose to farm them, which is a pretty good area, but I'll uh, tell you when the time comes where it is. So, uh, it'll help you out. Just make your way across here. It's pretty simple, straightforward stuff. You use these uh, orbs, as you did before, to get across this large little chasm. And we should be near the exit now. Here we are, yep. There we go. Okay, there's a few secrets in here that we're going to go and get. But you want to make your way over here first. Uh, there is, you see those massive gravestones? You want to destroy those. There's a few of them that look specifically like the one we just killed. Scattered throughout this graveyard and we want to kill all of them. Uh, you also want to go down into these little kind of crypt areas. Because they have artifacts and that's what we need. More artifacts, more souls, more souls, more skills. So there we go, we get the artifact soldier. Make your way back out. Uh, we're gonna. There's a few more. There's one more, I think, across the way. But uh, we're gonna be killing a few of the tombstones. See, it's these tombstones, the one that it's coming out from. Those are the ones you have to look out for. So just dispatch of the enemy real quick. More will spawn, but don't worry about it. Just make sure you kill those. Uh, these are gonna be a nuisance. Right, um, once these are finished, you see these three uh, tombstone things? Coffins, sorry. Yeah, the middle one can be pulled, so you just pull the middle one out. It's like a little secret, but no jingle happens when you reveal it, like in a Zelda game, which is kind of, kind of sad, but oh well. 
as you can see, there is another artifact there that we can uh, grab. You can grab it now, or you can just kill these real quick and then grab it. If you want to feel like you want to earn it. <laughs> and kill the mo mobs before you, you can go to it. Once you grab this, you want to head back outside. There is a chest that we need to get. I think it's a soul chest, if I remember correctly. And it should, yep, it should be right around here. There's a lot of these fiery mobs, aren't there? They seem to be everywhere. Lucky for us, they're e easy to dispatch, so... As you can see, it does take quite a few hits to kill these mobs. Not too many, but quite a bit. But it's not really difficult, to be honest. Just a bit time consuming. Always good to use the B finishing move for a nice, quick, clean kill. And here is the chest I was talking about. Lots of souls. Right, where do we have to go now? Um, we have to kill yeah, more of these gravestones. So go ahead and do that. As you can see, those mobs spawn specifically from these gravestones, it seems. So it's kind of like a clue, like, hey, these tombstones are not normal. Okay, there's one over there. So you want to kill this one here as well. I think that will be the last one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, I guess not. So there's a few more maybe. It's fine. It should be close by. Let's see. Where are they? It's not there. Doesn't look to be here. There's one. Alright, I think that's the last one. Is that it? Yep, there we go. Perfect. We want to make our way over there and uh, get a life shot. Well deserved, really. Once, of course, we uh, deal with these mobs. So many, so many of them. about just quickly kill those. If you head to this middle section, uh, you can talk to Volgrim and get a location marker. It's always good to see Volgrim for those location markers. Let's see. Yeah, I can afford it. Harpoon tackle all the way. What would you ask of this? And there is the chest that we uh, unlocked. in all its shadowy glory. Alright, so that makes two shard pieces so far. There is an absolute shit ton of those in this game. This game has a lot of collectibles. It's kind of fun. I like collectibles in games like this. It's very fun for me to try and find all of the secret locations and get like 100% complete. I did it with all my kind of... I like doing it with RPG games, especially Zelda games. I, I, that's one thing I love about Zelda. All the little secret nooks and crannies in the world and items that you can collect. It's so fun. We're going to make our way down here to another of those guardians. Gatekeep guys. Let's see what he says. Wakey wakey. I have come for the destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming, but a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. 
These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the shadow realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the destroyer's foul sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. I'm going to actually leave it here, this video has gone on long enough, but in the next episode we will uh, find all those portholes and do all the quests. See you then. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you like, and like if you like, dislike if you don't like, all that good stuff. Bye.